So before we move on with the next stage in the migration, it's worth just remembering some of the differences between uh, the network topology in OCI Classic and OCI. So if we're on the compute dashboard, we can navigate to the network section here. And it's worth noting that a shared network on OCI Classic will generally migrate as a single subnet in a VCN in OCI. And for an IP network, it generally maps to um, subnets within a single VCN in OCI, or it can be um, multiple VCNs which are locally peered. So IP networks will be mapped um, to different subnets in multiple VCNs if the if there's different parent cedar block ranges and they need to be interconnected. So if possible we'll try to migrate them all inside the same VCN but sometimes it's just not possible. So generally speaking it's usually easier to migrate a shared network and um, just in terms of complexity it migrates as a single VCN whereas in IP networks if you've got several IP networks they might need to be migrated into several VCNs. And so when we're talking about a VCN in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, it's a virtual cloud network, so it's your own sort of private address space. It's usually a Dash 16 CEDAR range to allow you to create your own various subnets and within across different ADs, or you can create a regional subnet that spans several ADs within the same region. So when we talk about security lists in OCI Classic, these are migrated uh, similarly in, in, in OCI, they're migrated as security lists also. And security lists are applied to a subnet in a VCN, or they can be applied to a network security group. And so likewise, the security rules in OCI Classic are mapped to security rules uh, within the security lists in OCI. So these can be uh, applied to a security list or uh, a network security group also. And so it's a little bit confusing with security applications are really just um, how the protocols are applied. So in OCI, these, this is how the protocols are different options are applied within a security rule in OCI. So if we go to security lists and we look at it, some of the rules here. So the protocols are applied here within the security rules within the security list. So when we refer to um, security IP lists in OCI Classic, there's no direct equivalent in OCI. Um, the security rules in OCI must be defined on a single resource or a destination. And within the network security groups, Security rules can use the same uh, NSG or another uh, NSG in the same VCN as a source or a destination. So that's a key difference. The NSGs are generally talking to NSGs within the same VCN. And if we've got multiple VCN peered, then it gets a little bit complicated and we have to, we have to allow for that when we migrate our, our network topology from OCI Classic. So, for example, for the VNIC sets in OCI Classic, there's no direct equivalent in OCI. However, the network security groups are very similar in that they allow you to specify a set of VNIC in a VCN and apply the same security rules to all the, the VNIC in this NSG, or similar to as you would in, with the VNIC sets in OCI Classic. Um, the NSGs, the VNIC in the NSG, are only scoped to affect VNIC within the same VCN. We must allow for this, so we can use a Terraform configuration. If we're using IP networks in OCI Classic, uh, we need to use a Terraform configuration um, generated by the discovery tool to set up VCN peering. Um, so it'll it'll peer different VCNs with um, the local peering gateways along with the necessary security lists and rules to allow connectivity. And so if we go back to our command line then, we can run the OPC migrate command to have a look at the network settings. So we've already ran this uh, tool a few times, created different reports, um, a summary for example, we can cut that out to the screen and have a look at it. And this is a summary of all the totals in the account. So you can see I have a shared network IP networks. So this is a large shared account with a lot of resources on it. I've also previously created a network report, so I can cut the network report out to the screen. And this gives us details of all the network and resources uh, within the account, which is quite substantial. There's all sorts of security IP lists, for example, 
and if I wanted to do a more sort of granular uh, report I can run this command so again it's OPC migrate network and then I want the details of the shared network and I'm creating this file into security lists just piping it in there so if we run this command it does give us a few errors about undiscovered resources and um, this is a large account with a lot of different um, network resources created but if I look for this file again now I can see it's created here called security lists and if I, if I cut that out to the screen um, I can take a look at it in more detail so this gives us a detail of all the security rules within the security lists so you can see the different security rules we can move on in the next video and create a run the plan command which is similar to the terraform plan command and this gives us outputs a file we can use for subsequent commands when we want to generate the terraform configuration file and eventually we'll use this terraform configuration file to deploy the resources um, in OCI so we're mapping the equivalent resources um, in OCI classic into OCI and so if you want to read more about the uh, differences between uh, OCI and OCI classic network resources you can read this uh, medium blog it's very good at explaining the differences